Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sad to say that I will be retiring my very faithful Battle Beaver that I've been using for over a year now. Very great controller. It feels comfortable in the hands. It was basically a gift from my homie Gav. He sold it to me for like 50 bucks and then I got it a little repaired. And I'm officially retiring one of my favorite controllers of all time. They might be wondering, why are you retiring such a phenomenal controller if it works perfectly fine? Well, my family over at Team More hooked me up with a scuff reflex and today's video is basically gonna be about me getting used to the damn thing. The scuff reflex comes with four remappable buttons that you can actually do physically on the controller. You don't need any external help with doing that. You just hold down this little button right here, which I know is a little hard to see. And then once you hold that down, you're able to select one of the back buttons and select the button on top. And that basically determines where it's gonna go. We also have the mouse here triggers on the controller, which at first I was not crazy about on a previous controller that I have, but I'm just starting to get really used to it on this one. And honestly, it feels really good. We're gonna play a little bit of shipment today. You'll also notice that the quality of my gameplay has improved substantially in terms of visual quality because I now have an AMD Ryzen 5800X 3D for my new CPU. And I have a GTX 4070 as my brand new graphics card. I've been itching to get new equipment to basically up the quality of my gameplay for the last few years. I was sitting on an AMD Ryzen 5 3600 for literal ages, like, four-ish years or so, and a 1660 Ti uh, GPU. That equipment served me well. I'm gonna probably put it in my other computer so I can do some other things with that machine instead, but I'm happy to have this here, all this new equipment, and so far the frame rate changes have just been stellar. Now you'll notice on screen, I've got a controller-like tracker thing. It's not exactly accurate, so I do apologize. It looks a little bit weird. I just thought it'd be kind of cool to put it up there. Uh, I couldn't figure out how to remap the buttons properly like I tried, and they just didn't remap. So like my triangle is this, it, okay, Okay, triangle's normal, it's good, it's weird. One of the key things I wanted to point out to is I don't plan on using every single button on the underside, I don't think. Uh, just unnecessary, in my personal opinion. Now, if you'll notice, first thing and foremost is this frame rate we're getting. We're getting over uh, between 170 to like 200. Now, it doesn't help that I have a lot of like my settings turned up, you know? Like my shadows are all on high um for the most part my textures are kind of like in the middle ground area and i'll show you guys the graphic settings in a second uh am i alive am i alive i'm a oh i thought i was i thought i was alive okay whoa 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 buddy okay, he's gonna come around this corner i gotta get used to like uh <laughs> switching weapons because basically now the little controller on the screen won't show it but my switch weapons button is currently like the bottom like the inner like the inner right paddle the bottom right paddle is like my jump the inner left paddle is my reload if i'm not mistaken and the bottom left pad, uh, paddle is my uh slide cancel button why did i do that what is happening right now so uh yeah summarize that's kind of why it's like that I gotta use the I gotta get used to like the extra buttons though because I didn't have extra buttons on my uh, battle beaver. I had two. I didn't have four. This one is a little bit weirder. I can't imagine trying to snipe on this thing though. That's gonna be freaky, man. I remember the first time I fell in love with getting a custom made controller. I was watching a video from Fudos. Um, for the longest. Oh shoot! I hit the wrong button, dude. I panicked to hit like my inner button for reload for some reason. I should have just prone. I don't know why I went for the reload button. But it's like, like I said, it's, oh my God, you see that aim? It's all about muscle memory. And that's something I'm trying to basically rebuild from the ground up. It feels really weird, but we'll get there. But yeah, I fell in love with getting like a custom like controller from watching a future video where he was basically testing out a new controller. He had been clawing, I think for ages. I can't see a damn thing. Holy cow. Uh, he had been clawing for like ages i think or something like that he'd be using the default controller and i was like damn i really want to try like a custom made controller so i got the battle beaver from gav i was initially gonna buy a scuff way back when uh but i just opted in not to not doing that pretty much so you know it is what it is uh i ended up getting the battle beaver a few years later i stuck to keyboard and mouse for the longest and there's nothing wrong with keyboard and mouse but i don't know i i, I grew up a controller player for literally every single video game when i was a kid so, you know, it's not because of like aim assist or music it or whatever. It's just strictly like a, I miss the feeling of having a controller in my eye. Okay. I, okay. I miss the feeling of having a controller in my hand, you know. And uh, I, I just couldn't wait to get back to it pretty much. So a couple of, like, I think it was like a year or two ago, I switched back to controller. It was like one of those, like the first controller I used in years was like a generic Xbox controller and it, it felt horrible. But it kind of helped me get used to things. I was even clawing on that with tactical uh, settings for my like thumbsticks and stuff, you know? So I was drop shotting with my thumbstick. That controller was solid, man. That thing was a prick, literally. It did not break. 
ever. I never had any thumbstick issues with that. I pray I don't ever run into any issues with the uh, scuff reflex because I, I don't full on own the controller, I guess. Like I don't have all the information you need to like return it and repair it. And maybe I don't need that. Maybe I could just take it to literally any reputable like controller repair place in near where I live, like I did for the Battle Beaver. But um, I don't know. It feels good though. You know, and having this high of a frame rate is just also just stellar, man. It feels so good to be able to just hit high frame rates. Now, I do need to show you my graphic settings, so I will do that after this uh, game. Kind of blue ball you guys a little bit. I'm sorry about that. I know blue balls are not uh, probably a topic I should discuss on YouTube. I'm going to spawn right there. No. Oh, he spawned on top of me. So I'm not used to like letting go of these hair triggers. That's another thing, too. I'm not used to that. So I've, I've been developing this really bad habit where I hold on to them for a really long time. Like afterwards, like I hold on to my triggers. Like the muscle memory hasn't trained, hasn't trained me yet. Uh, whoa. Yeah, I'm like, I'm having a brain fart right now. Cause my weapon swap button and my weapon reload button is also my weapon swap button too, you know, so. I'm gonna swap right here. What's happening? Okay, swap right there. All right, come on teammates. There's so many of you. Uh, we're a little negative right now, but not the ordinary. Not too crazy, you know? We're not just atrociously negative. Honestly, we can just let them have those points. I want to make it my goal to try and drop a swarm with this thing at some point, you know? Uh, almost turned on him. It's okay though. And then obviously I have to test this out in Warzone too. And it, it's so far, the few games of Warzone that I did play, they felt nice. It took a little bit of getting used to. Now I don't, like I said, I don't think I'm gonna use the weapon swap button and um, the uh, weapon reload button too often, like the underside paddles. I just don't see a point. I don't really mind like taking my finger off the thumbs just to swap weapons, you know? I might use weapon swap actually, cause weapon swap doesn't feel that bad, but reload feels terrible, personally. I just, I just hit it too much and it ends up picking up a weapon I don't wanna pick up, you know? Gonna spawn not there. Where are they spawning at? Well, all right. That was a quick game. Okay, so on to the graphic settings. Let's show you guys what we're working with here. So I was hitting a pretty good frame rate. I've got texture resolution, texture filter, and detail quality on all normal. Product resolution on high, although I don't really think this makes a huge difference. Shader quality set to medium, and then we've got shadow quality, screen space, and all this set to high, high, both. And that's everything else, pretty much. Uh, I, I, those settings at the bottom, I don't care about. I don't think I'll ever change them. There's no point. I don't care about water detail. And uh, I, I, like, I've like i noticed overall, like, this this game definitely looks a lot prettier. 100%? Like, look at that. Look at that, look at that beautiful camo we worked so hard to get, honestly. But uh, yeah, so I, I think we're doing pretty good so far. I wanna try testing this game out like with full on high textures, you know, like recording a video, streaming it, you know, you name it. We're gonna spawn over here. Yep. We're gonna spawn right back over there. And they're not gonna spawn behind us. No, they're not, they are gonna spawn behind us. There's gonna be a knife on the field. Probably dead. There's a knifer. Oh, come on, man. They're gonna spawn him right there. Oh no, he just ran up on our shit. I just spawned right into that guy. That's unfortunate. I don't think I need to make these like games like super long. But I just wanna get enough like content to make it feel fulfilling, you know? Jesus, we can't really get anything going. I'm still using the reload like slash weapon swap button though. I wanna get used to it, you know? Okay, shipment might not be the best place to test this out, but it is where I will get the most engagements and get the most muscle memory kind of going. You know what I mean? So, ride that guy. You're gonna spawn over here. I do not use like DS4 Windows or anything either for the record. Uh, I'm not, I don't use any of that software. I tried it once, it just seemed like it was too much. I just don't need all the extra shit, you know? It just, it just felt unnecessary. All right, so reload, we're gonna hold our reload button. Okay. okay that guy's gonna run right down here, yep. They're over here, no. Ah, crap. Like I said, we gotta get used to it, you know? It's annoying as shipment could be. It's the best place to get interactions and engagements. I mean, like we're not doing great right now, but you know, we're always in a gunfight for the most part. 
Oh, there was a guy who spawned right there. He stayed right there too. Let's go. Ride that guy. I was gonna spawn right there. No. Yes, no, maybe so. Oh, come on, really? It's just weird kind of using the sides of my fingers, you know? Like what? He just spawn right there? Ah, this guy's not that strong, unfortunately. The benefit of the attack eradicator is it shoots extremely straight. So much so that it's just kind of broken, honestly. I've almost got the mastery challenges done for this gun though. Which I said I was not gonna do in this game. I said I was not gonna do any form of mastery challenges. But I've been enjoying playing this multiplayer like a ton. So if we're gonna be honest here, I really don't mind it. The next gun I think I'm gonna get the mastery challenges done for though is gonna be the ACR. Uh, just because of the ACR. I'm not calling it the MCW, it's strictly the ACR. The MCW just feels so pointless. Just feels pointless calling it that, you know? Okay, well, we can't literally get anything going right now. My hands are getting tired. <laughs> I'm basically using the sides of my fingers to, uh, to, uh, like, use these bottom weapons, these bottom buttons, you know? I guess I could just use more fingers, you know? I'm pretty good with my fingers, I've been told, but... I go around this corner, you know? Well, let's reload really quick. And this is like my reaction time, like, between swap between buttons is a little off right now but that's okay wow okay we are negative two right now not bad ah uh, uh, yep yep i gotta get used to that jesus man i guess okay that's broken we're gonna get there it's gonna take some time to get used to it but again you know between the high frame rate i did not kill that guy wow Okay. We're gonna I'm trying to fry these guys. Oh my god, dude. Alright, but aside from this though, I played a Warzone yesterday just strictly with my 4070, not with my new CPU. And uh did he just stick me? That's so unfortunate. That was so weird. I actually like let go of the, the button. <laughs> I actually let go of my button. That just made it a little awkward. I'm just not used to the hair triggers. Like it doesn't feel like I'm pressing the button sometimes. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. I think I got the message. The get the hell out of the way message is a guy just far right there. Oh, that's gonna kill me, isn't it? That got me. Wow. That's why I will never, ever, ever like that piece of equipment. I don't care if it's not as strong in this game as it was in MW2. That piece of equipment is bullshit. And we all know it. Jesus. We're still not terribly negative, you know? I think I don't need to use the weapon swap button or the uh, reload button. Like, weapon swap feels a little bit more acceptable. But I just have a ha uh, bad habit of fat fingering it, like when I'm like trying to jump and slide cancel and all that stuff. That guy. I think I just gotta take my time. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. I just gotta take my time. Just trying not to be a little overzealous, you know, with my movements, get a little patient with my kills. It is like making the sides of my fingers burn just a tiny bit. Maybe burn is a little extreme. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Cause I didn't feel comfortable at first with the battle beaver. So I just played around with it a bunch. And I got the weapon button or the button swapped, you know. Cause jump on that controller used to be on the left part of the controller and it didn't feel right. So I set it to the, I, I had to take it to a shop so they could actually like manually remap the buttons. But uh, I took it to the shop. They switched the left battle beaver button to sliding slash crouching cause that game didn't have slide canceling cause it was dog shit. Uh, you know, shout out to Infinity War for making Loki the worst Call of Duty of all time. <laughs> what the? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anywho. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I'm losing, I'm, I'm losing a little bit of my... Uh, I'm getting distracted right now. I don't even know what I'm saying. Yeah, I had to get the button swapped around. 
get used to them, you know? It took a little bit of time. Like, my hands are honestly really tired right now. Sure. 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 We're gonna make this like a little mini series though, like path to using a new controller or something. Oh, dude, that would have been a beautiful snap. We're trying to prone right now. Oh man, like, it feels like there's like a little bit of a reaction like delay. I think that's because I'm using like some USB extension cable because the, the, the USB-C cable that I bought is only three feet long and in my mind, I thought that was a long cable. Uh, fun fact, it's not actually. It doesn't even go under my desk all the way. I had to use like an extended like piece for my USB cable to make it fully stretch under the table. Unfortunately, that rhyme, that was, that was just a mouthful. An extended cable to fit under my table or something like that. That's what I said, I don't know. We're good, we're good. It may be ratted up, but we're winning the game at least. No help from me, but you know what we're doing? Jesus! Enough with the nades, bro. Like right there though, I actually use the actual triangle button. Forgive me. I'm 24 and 37. Let it be known, I'm not a fake content creator. I will show my days where I just get absolutely destroyed. Ah, see, I switch weapons right there. I didn't mean to do that. Cause I went to go grip my controller. Got that good grip, dude. Can I please stop getting stunned? Yeah, we're good. Get some kills going. We're mostly playing really slow though. Like if I were to play with a sub, can I not get sniped by this guy, please? Oh, he's using the KV Enforcer. Okay, well, it's not a real sniper there. Oh my God, what even is that? What even is that, dude? Holy moly, I just switched weapons too. Another thing is like that bottom reload button, which is why I don't think I need to use it. It's right next to my slide cancel button, so I have a bad habit so far of uh, hitting that when I'm just trying to slide cancel. Jesus. Can't get a moment to breathe. Okay. We're on neg 10 right now. But you know what? I'll take it. We're not doing too shabby. Am I personal V? I need some slide canceling everywhere, but that's just a bad habit at this point. I don't know how the hell I win that gunfight. Oh, shit. They got a triple cap. Hold the phone. Hold on. Okay. Hold the phone. We might need to stop it up a little bit. Let's do an SMG. Oh, you're not getting me, buddy. The trophy system still block those things, by the way. For some stupid ass reason. The trophy system blocking an entire cruise missile is crazy to me. Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? Okay, whatever. Are we, we're still neck 10. <laughs> At least we're consistent, right? We're consistently dog shit right now. Do they have another hero? I guess if I were to, you know, help shoot it down, that probably helped a ton, but I'm just so used to, I'm, 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 I'm trying to get used to this new controller. Yeah, that's my excuse. That's why I'm not assisting. There's just so many just chilling. I love this game though, overall. That's why I'm happy to make all this equipment, uh, make all these equipment upgrades and stuff, you know? Like, I'm generally having a blast playing this Call of Duty. I want to be prepared for the next few years of gaming. We got Final Fantasy VII Rebirth coming out soon. I'm 100% going to take the day off for that, at least make it a half day. So I'm going to need my vacation days for when I go to Miami for the Call of Duty League event that's going to be happening there. Probably going to get shot by that helo. Uh, I should have just why I should have just why why with my uh, triangle button. I don't know why I tried to just. I think I'm, I'm like, I'm built like that. Holy moly. Yeah, we might stick to the buttons for the, for the YYing, for the weapon swapping, the reloading. Ah. But the jumping and the sliding feel fine though. I might just have to remap them though, so I don't have a bad habit of hitting them. Oh my sweet blipping Jesus. Man, dude, I can't get anything going right now. Is that my fault right there? I don't think so. Is he still alive? No. Well, not my greatest game, 
but we're getting used to it you know it, it takes a little bit of time it's gonna take a little bit of practice a little bit of rhyme a little bit of reason but uh, it's gonna take a few games slash few weeks just to get used to everything again i haven't seen an mp7 in a minute i might have to actually use some of these old g mw2 guns down down, down the, the grind you know there's still a lot of guns that didn't get the mastery challenges done for but i don't know how good they're gonna be in this game in particular they were great in their game because of the low ctk this game not sure what's cool is too we're not really reaching any high temperatures with my gpu we're sticking around 65 to 68 degrees celsius which is really low if we're being honest here so i'm happy with that man but all right guys i want to thank you for watching this video let me know what you think about the scuff reflex if you own one are you more of a scuff guy or more of a battle beaver guy let me know in the comments down below and hey if you are a scuff guy be sure to use code war at your next scuff purchase when you check out for a tiny little bit of a discount that will go towards my beautiful family over at team war if you're new here be sure to leave a like on this video subscribe to the channel and as always guys this is jay the gamer i will see you in the next video peace